Good manners of our beloved Prophet, peace be upon him. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, Truly you, Muhammad, have an outstanding character. I bear witness. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, and that Muhammad is his servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the Day of Judgment. Our beloved Prophet, peace be upon him, was the best example of the whole humanity. He is the best of the people. He is the best of people in his character and good manners. He had the purest soul and heart. He was the most generous person in dealing with others. His life was a true reflection of the morals and the values of the glorious Quran. As Aisha said, his character was the Quran. When contemplating the life of our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, one find that he, peace be upon him, is the Prophet of mercy. He is the Prophet of mercy and the Master of merciful ones. The Almighty Allah sent him as a mercy as the Quran says, we have not sent you except as mercy. Allah, glory be to him, also said, by an act of mercy from Allah, you Prophet were gentle in your dealings with them. The mercy of the Prophet ﷺ included his dealing with humans, the jinns, trees, animals, and animate, and inanimate objects. When he, peace be upon him, saw a bird whose young children were taken from her, he commented, who has grieved this one by the loss of her young? Return its young ones to it. The mercy of the Prophet ﷺ was not limited to humans or animals. The mercy of the Prophet ﷺ was not limited to human or animals, but rather it extended to cover inanimate objects. Once he said, I recognize a stone in Mecca, which used to pay me as solutions before any advent as a prophet. And I recognize that even now. He, peace be upon him, also said, the mountain of Uhud is a mountain that loves us. And we love it. Among the most important morals of our Prophet ﷺ, honesty and truthfulness. He was known for those traits even before his mission. And therefore, his people used to call him as al Amin, the truthful, the honest. They used to tell him, we have not experienced any lie from you. When Khadija, radiallahu anha, may Allah be pleased with her, wanted to reassure the heart of our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, upon the beginning of receiving the revelation from Allah, she told him, Never by Allah, Allah will never disgrace you. You keep good relations with your kin. You help the poor. You serve your guests generously and assist the afflicted people. The Almighty Allah described the Prophet wasallam as being truthful, saying, It is the one who brings the truth and the one who accepts it as true who are mindful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said about himself, I only say the truth. The moral of honesty, one of the, one of the greatest moral of our beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the moral of honesty was one of the greatest moral of our beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The responsibility of the divine message is considered the greatest of trust given to him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and he bore it in the best manner. He, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, has said about himself, I am trustee of him who is in the heaven. He was known among his people as the honest, to the extent that when he, they saw him, they would say, this is honest. 
He peace be upon him was the best one to fulfill his promises and confidence and the best to treat to keep his his trust and the best to keep his trust therefore in the night of his migration to Medina he kept Ali ibn Abi Talib in Mecca to return all trust to their owners those people were the ones who harmed him and tried to kill him all praise is due to Allah the Lord of all worlds. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his companions and followers. Our messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was the best example of mercy. Our prophet was the best example of mercy, honesty, and truthfulness. He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was the best example of his loyalty and all other good manners. He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was very loyal to his family. Whenever he slaughtered a sheep, he would send a maid to the friends of his wife, of his previous wife Khadija, as a sign of his loyalty to her after her death. Also, whenever he saw an old woman from the friends of Khadija, he would show her mercy and say, she used to visit us during the lifetime of Khadija. Good loyalty is a part of faith. Also, he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was the most loyal one to his companions. He once said about Abu Bakr, all of, of all people, he once said about Abu Bakr, of all people, the most generous toward me in regard of his companionship and his property was Abu Bakr. He was the one who believed me when others did not believe in me. The loyalty of the Prophet ﷺ was not limited to Muslims. The loyalty of the Prophet ﷺ was not just for Muslims. Rather, it extended to non-Muslim. He peace be upon him sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam was grateful to a man from a disbelievers called Al-Mut'am ibn Adi because he protected him from the people of Mecca after returning from a ta'if he peace be upon him remained grateful to him even after his death on the day of the battle of Badr the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, if Al-Mut'am ibn Adi had been alive and spoken to me about those captives from polytheists to free them, I would have freed them for him. How much we need, how much we need to follow the morals of our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in order to carry the message of love and peace to the whole world. O oh Allah, O oh Allah, protect our country, Egypt, and all other countries of the world. Thank you.